What's up, guys? MMA Dose here, reporting some quick MMA news for you guys. First of all, hope you guys are having an awesome long weekend. All you Canadians out there, happy belated Canada Day, and you Americans. I hope you guys have an awesome Independence Day. Now, let's get right down to business. Last month, Felice Herring fought Justine Kish, uh, the Russian-American, in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, in the women's strawweight division. Felice Herring ended up winning a three-round decision um and she had an awesome performance but that's not what brought the most attention to the fight the most attention to the fight was the fact that uh, justine kish not only left blood sweat and tears in the octagon she also left some brown and yellowish splotches blotches whatever you want to call in there as well now what i found most amazing was that felice herring actually kept her composure and grappled with her and rolled around in Justine's feces, I guess. I don't know if she noticed, if she could smell it, who knows. I'm sure it's pretty embarrassing for both of them, especially since they're female fighters. Um, now, surprisingly, Justine took it uh, fairly well um, after the match. Uh, she went on to... Twitter and uh, she tweeted, I'm a warrior and I will never quit. Hashtag shit happens. Ha ha. Be back soon. Let's just hope she comes back in her next match fasted, maybe. Or maybe a diaper underneath. Who knows? Let's just hope she's a little bit more prepared. And But the surprising thing is, it seemed like the boss man... Dana White was actually happy how she handled things. Um, in an interview with Dominic's uh, Natty show, Justine Kish was actually quoted saying, UFC President Dana White called me the day after the fight, and he wanted to check with me and make sure I was okay. He noticed that we had a little humiliation behind what happened, and he encouraged me and said, you fought as a warrior in there, and I love the way you dealt with it. Another thing that is cool is that Dana what Dana suggested that I have a small bonus, a gift for my performance. UFC's very good at giving little secret bonuses. I did not ask, and I do not know how much it will be, so let's just see in a few weeks. I don't know. What do you guys think is a secret bonus? Do you guys think that it's cash. Do you guys think it's maybe a sponsored Harley or something? I don't know. How much do you guys think it could be? Do you guys think that maybe Raging Alaquinta needs to follow her footsteps during a bonus? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Share the video. Subscribe. Give it a thumbs up.